we meet somebody who is not tribalistic. As a matter of fact, uh, Yaradwa will have uh, taken Nigeria to the level that will have surprised most of us. Because before he came in, uh, an average public servant was already buying tier leader vehicles, if you can still remember. Between 2005, 2006, 2000, they were chasing civil servants, public servants into their offices, come and buy care tier leader vehicles. Am I correct? Nigerian public servants, you know, it was a period of revolution for Nigerian public servants to begin to own their own houses through the monetization process and the free uh, nature of uh, land allocation in Abuja and in some other places, housing estates springing up in different locations. And there was massive, what I would call, consecutive development. So when Yaradwa came, assuming the health issue never came in. He was coming along that line, taking the something from that level to run with it. Unfortunately, the health challenges came. And uh, Jonathan, coming from a minority sector of this country, had problem governing because they said they are going to make uh, the nation ungovernable. And we started seeing bombing for the first time in our life. We never have, did you see bombing in 2000? In 2005, did you hear anything like bombing? We were hearing of these things in uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan. We were wondering, ah, which kind of world is this? But it came into our country after 2011 election. Can't we think and know where this thing is coming from? Honestly speaking, that's a man that till tomorrow, I hope and pray that he was still alive. This man came in. You and I know very well what that man did. For instance, the amnesty the youth restiveness in the Niger Delta areas. The man came with the help of Jonathan as a vice president. He was able to handle the nation and we know so far the progress we recorded while he was still the president. I miss him a lot. I miss Yaradua a lot. I wish he's still alive, but you can't question God. So he did very, very well. Oh, well, he came and gone just like uh, you know any other president. He did his best, but unfortunately, you know, uh, most of the time he was ill and uh, he couldn't have done more than, uh, you know, he did. But looking at, uh, you know, uh, the things he did, we believe that uh, if he had good health, you know, he would have done better. But, uh, you know, nobody can question death. When it comes, it comes, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. He was a great man. He tried his best. Oh, really miss him. You know, we are man of people. People love him. Even immediately he came in, he started doing things. You see the way he changed things, amnesty of this, um, uh, 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 this uh, South Amnesty, Niger Delta Amnesty. He started, he carried everybody along. He doesn't discriminate, he doesn't say this one is Namu Namu, this one is my own, this one. No, he carried everybody along. And you know when you have five children and you are showing this one you love him, you are telling this one you don't love him, you buy Christmas shoe for three, you didn't buy for two. You know definitely those two they, they didn't buy the shoe, will, will not be angry. Yaradua, we really, Kai, may his soul rest in peace. We, we missed him. We'll remember Yaradua for was that that, that man, uh, you see, the issue of uh, what do they call them in Niger Delta, how he was able to harmonize and uh, to more like compensate the regions of which they have been exploited. A country, a state that is an oil producing con uh, state, and uh, they were lacking some basic amenities. And he, the Yaradua was able to bring them to Ni as a Niger Delta, and uh, he was able to comp compensate them, compensate them, and they was able to be calm everywhere. Talking of oil price during that time, how much was it? It was 45, but how much are we buying for it today? This has escalated the inflation. It has put inflation in various prices of goods and services. So, here I do. We love him, but God loves him most. So, we remember him for peace. And I will remember him for at least economic stability during his time.